You know, he was a, a man of great integrity. He, he was a statesman, of course. Uh, that was part of his public figure. But he was also a, a family man dedicated to his family. And I think that extended to his family in the Army, certainly, uh, his many years there, rising to the highest levels, and at the State Department. Uh, he cared about his troops, the career people uh, at the State Department. He did more uh, in his four years than had been done for so many years to uh, bring us up to date with new technology. He was a humble guy in his own way, uh, didn't expect uh, lots of, of great shows of, uh, of uh, his exalted status. Although he was proud too, for instance, to have been given an honorary knighthood by Her Majesty the Queen after the first Gulf War. Uh, that was something that was clearly important to him when we were coming to London. He would say, you know, there I'm Sir Colin. And uh, uh, he did that with a twinkle in his eye. He'll be remembered by many, of course, for that speech he gave at the UN, where he asserted that Saddam Hussein did have weapons of mass destruction. You were working with him during that difficult period. How much did that weigh on him, do you think, through his later years, that period? He took everything, you know, very seriously, but he also understood uh, the importance of moving on. Uh, look, this is a, a man who uh, reached the highest levels of the U.S. military, was the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, was the national security advisor, and then the secretary of state. Uh, and many said, of course, that uh, he could have been president. Uh, that's a path he chose not to take, uh, but I will always remember him as, as uh, the ultimate diplomat, in, in many ways uh, a rock star, uh, as we traveled around the world or certainly even at home. Is there one anecdote you could tell that kind of that sums up the man? Do you think something, something that the story about Conan Powell, the man, that, that sticks in your memory? Well, you know, he used to try to uh, sort of ditch his security detail within the State Department building, and he would get in the elevator and head to the basement or the garage and talk to the guys down there who parked the cars, because that's where he felt uh, he could get the real story of what was going on, how was their day going, how did they see things. Uh, and I think that's what Colin Powell understood, that the sum of this organization was every element that was, uh, was a part of it. Was he more comfortable in that company, do you think? I think he dined with kings, uh, but he also could enjoy a beer or just a chat with anybody on the street. That was Colin Powell.